So, so what's up guys it's top tech guides today we're going to do a video over the webcam because well first off i don't have anything to record my bio screen at the moment um i have um let's go in the little tool chest in here this is where all my spare parts are at i have this you know i have i have this sitting around but i don't know if um i don't know if it can record my bio screen yeah, just, yeah, I don't know. So, um, we're going to go over on how exactly we're going to overclock our computer. So, if you want to check out my Discord, my Discord's right over there. Also, in the description bar, so you can go ahead and join me, join into the conversations that we talk into, or even join us in a game if you're a legitimate player, obviously 18 year olds and older, and you don't sound like a little kid because I don't really like dealing with little kids because it's just annoying but anyways we're gonna shut down our computer real quick I'm gonna shut it down so what I installed today is 60 32 gigabytes of RAM and we're going to overclock the RAM and also we're going to overclock the CPU now here's the thing for my RAM they're not the same both of my RAM cards are not the same my uh, top speed cards so that go at 240 megahertz they need to be overclocked to uh, 240 or two. 2000 megahertz okay so it shut off okay so as you can see my computer shut off all right we got to boot it we got to boot it back up uh, look at that sponsorship right there all right so i need to press f2 to get into my bio screen that's what i have to press but for you it could be different this is for people who have cpus that are unlocked for for overclocking so if you don't have a cpu that's meant for overclocking then you can't do it Okay, so as you can see, my AMD FX8350 is 4,400 megahertz. My DDR3 RAM is 2,052 megahertz. Uh, and those um, those ones I'm actually going to keep. Keep. So I'm going to see if there's a way for me to back up my settings. This doesn't seem to be an option in here. So we're going to go to OC Tweaker. As you can see, I overclocked it to 10%. So normally it would be on manual mode. So there's no. So right now it's not overclocked. So if you have issues, what you can do is go to exit, and there should be a load UEFI default. It will return your computer back to default settings. So nothing's overclocked. Everything will be at de uh, default settings. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to set my DRAM frequency to 2052 um, I'm gonna crank it up one more time um, set my volt DRAM voltage to auto because I'll have the computer go ahead and figure it out on what the voltage should be um, we also holy crap look both my monitors are showing up the freak that's that's cool. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know I did that. I've been focusing on my camera, not even noticing it. I think that one looks better than that one, actually. I don't know. So we're gonna go back up, and then we're gonna go ahead and overclock the CPU now. So obviously the OC mode is in manual mode, so it's not gonna go anywhere. The overclock mode, everything is back at its default, so it's not gonna exactly go anywhere. If I res if I click exit and a save changes and exit then it will um, save all my changes so we're gonna go to manual mode go to OCPU OC mode I'm gonna overclock it to I've already tried 20 percent my computer was not stable at 20 percent because I needed a new cooler I need to get a 280 millimeter uh, radiator instead of having a 120 millimeter radiator because that's just not big enough for this type of cooling so I need to put it, I'm going to crank it, I believe, where was it at before? It was at 440 megahertz, so I want to put it back to 440 megahertz. And I obviously, uh, spread spectrum, we're going to need that turned off. Because you won't be able to reach high clock speeds with this turned on anyways, it already says right there anyways. But um, uh, turbo, Amity Turbo Technology, we can put that to auto, because um, we don't, to be honest, you can just leave it on auto. Um, everything else you could probably just leave the same. Okay. NB frequency multiplier times 10. 
Go ahead and close that. We're not going to edit that. Go to advanced. Now, let's say, for example, your computer is thermal throttling. Now, if you don't know what thermal throttling is, it means your computer is getting so hot to the point in which the CPU has no, the motherboard has no choice but to decrease the clock speed temporarily for a short amount of time to decrease the temperature of the CPU. Now, if this happens, that means you need to get a better cooler. Either that, or you need to tweak your cooler to kick it up a notch and put some more work into it because obviously it's not it's not working right. So I'm going to do that through my computer because I have a uh, NCXT Kraken uh, cooler. So I can go ahead and save it. Save changes. Apply. So let's see if it boots up. You can see the LED light is on still. Give it a minute. Sorry, I had to record this through my phone. Normally I wouldn't do it. Okay, so it looks like everything's running. All right, so to monitor your temperatures, I'll show you one software that can do all of it. It can tell you what your clock speed is, what your temperatures are through all your devices, even your hard drives. It, it's a really cool tool. Um, I'll even show you your temperatures of your, um, of your graphics card too. So I might as well go ahead and record this in the end. The entirety of this camera I might as well go ahead the program will be in the description bar the program is called Specy so I'm gonna be using it hasn't booted up yet I'm not too sure what it's doing what you doing matey Right. Uh, these went out. Oh. Oh, my computer rebooted. Is there a reason why? Or is it just Windows doing its thing? Sometimes Windows does that to me. At least specifically to me. I'm not too sure. It like, just randomly restarts during when it's trying to boot. Why is my uh, auto focus mess messed up? Focus. Right, there we go. So I'll look away for a second so I can put in the password. Nope, put that in wrong. Okay, there we go. Alright, so I'm going to load up the program Spessy for you guys so you can see what it does. Remember to monitor your temperatures if you're you, and you need to overclock it one step at a time. You do not want to go straight for example, for example, you start your base clock on your computer is about 4 gigahertz if I was to give a guess. And you want to jump it all the way to 5 gigahertz. You can't do that. If you go too high or you give your CPU too much voltage, it will get really hot really fast. So say for example, my maximum speed right there four gigahertz on stock these are stock in task manager it's not going to tell you what it is currently you would have to use CPU Z or Specy to see what that is so as you can see Specy is monitoring my temperatures for my motherboard for my graphics cards also all the way down to my oh hold on also all the way down to my uh, storage devices so if I go to CPU all right, there's my AMD CPU. You should see stock right there. Where is it? Oh, maybe it's not going to show up through here. Use CPU Z and see if it'll load up. This is a great way to show uh, your temperatures, though, through a very small software. Oh, there it is. There it is, right there. 440 megahertz. And in CPU Z, it should say 440 megahertz. Right? Oh, right there. 440 megahertz. Anyways, guys, hit the like and subscribe button if you like this video. Um, if you want more on overclocking, I can probably make a video on it. But I was basically going down through the auto configuration instead of making it through manual settings because in manual 
that you would have to um, calculate how much um, power power draw you're going to need to put in in order to um, achieve um, that specific clock speed because if you don't do it right then you're not going to get the speed that you're looking for. Give me the like and the subscribe button if you want more videos. Uh, you know what to do. Leave a comment. I'll see you guys on the next one. This is how you overclock an AMD FX processor. See you later.